Okay, getting started on the on the halter, uh, we're going to take our 18, 19 feet of rope that I've got and we need to measure out 7 feet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I turn it around. So I want the long end of the rope in my left hand and the short piece of the rope in my right hand. I'm then going to go another 10 inches along this way because that's where I want my nose band to be. And I'm going to tie my first, you can go a little, you've got a bit of leeway. So you can go, you've always got five or six inches leeway. You're better off to be a little bit towards the end of the long piece of the rope than to get to the very end of the halter and run out a couple of inches. It's a real nightmare. Um, if you're not sure, you can start with a good 20 feet of rope and give yourself plenty of extra inches on the long side. So we're going to tie our first granny knot here, but only the first half of it because it's the first part of our nose band. So we're going to tie one granny knot, the little love hearts facing towards us. Now the art of a really good halter and a really well balanced halter is how the knots are balanced. So if I tie this granny knot like this, but then the rope twists over and I tie another granny knot here, it's going to make it really hard for me to balance that nose band nicely. So I want both of these granny knots to lay really flat together. If anything, this one on the left, I want it to face up a little bit. Come along, measure 10 inches because that's a full size nose band. Um, and tie another granny knot here. Again, on the right here, this should be the short end of the rope. And on the left is the long end of the rope. So just have a look at that roughly. You'll see that's... When we're measuring, we're looking at from the inside of the knot to the inside of the other knot is the measurements. That's roughly where we're looking. Okay, so we've got two granny knots that are even. You'll see they're, they're both facing down towards me and the rope's not twisted in the middle. You can see the, um, the weave of the rope when it gets twisted. You'll see it'll start to do that. We don't want to twist the rope anywhere between our knots too much because we really want it to be balanced and sit nicely on the horse once we're finished. First part of the feed or not, we can move this out of the way for a minute, is to bring these two, two granny knots together. So the nose band, this is the nose band, is going to be away from us and these two towards us. Now what we need to do is flip that over. So bring the nose band up and towards you and lay it down flat. Again, keeping everything flat. Don't let things cross over. Don't let anything twist. Keeping everything nice and flat. And now we're going to make a little wiggly snake like this. These here are going to be the loops at the bottom of your halter, the bottom of your Fiador knot, F-I-A-D-O-R, Fiador knot. It's not a Fiador knot, it's not anything, it's a Fiador knot. These are the bottom, so it's really important here that you don't lose these loops, and it's really important that nothing crosses over. So have a good look at that, the nose band is facing back towards you, and you will see that the short end of the rope is here, is the bottom piece. The long end of the rope is the furthest away. It's really important at this stage that you get that sorted out. If you've done it the other way around, change it now, because otherwise you will start your feed or not. You'll do all that time and effort and frustration, no doubt, while you're practicing, and you'll get to the end of it and it'll be backwards and it won't. you won't be able to tie the halter. So check on it now. Right, next we're going to take, again, notice I'm holding on to everything nicely. We're going to take the nose band across. Now we're going to have this little clover leafy looking pattern. Have a look at it, see how it lays. Now we take the short piece, again holding everything. See how easy it is for everything to fall apart? You've got to get really good at holding everything in place with one hand and doing everything with the other. Taking the short piece that's closest to you, going over both parts of the nose band, coming up through the middle, 
and laying it back down where it was. Okay, have a look at that. Snug it in there nice and tight, keep it all nice and neat and tidy. Now we're going to take the long piece. We're going to go just over the first part of over that, over this one, and over the first part of the nose band, and up underneath that. Bring it all the way through. Again, holding everything down while you feed things through. When you're practicing and when you're learning, make sure you do every little step. Don't rush ahead. Organize everything. So now you've got two pieces coming out the top of your feed or not. You've got the long piece now on the right and the short piece on the left. If that is not exactly like that, do not continue because it will not work out. So we're going to take the long piece, we're going to go across the short piece and we're going to turn also now this into a little crossover. So we're going to take the long piece, find the end of it, we're going to go over one, you're going to lift this up, again, one, two, three, you're going to go up through the third hole, again, be careful that where this crosses over, careful it doesn't go over the nose band or do anything silly, gently bring it all the way through to here. This is what it'll look like now. Take the short piece. And it is just going to come straight up underneath the first loop. Don't pull anything tight. It should come through like this. You can snug it a little bit. Snug your nose band a little bit. And snug your loops. Now this is the inside of the feed or not held flat. The next part is also really important. Pick it up by the nose, by the by the feed or loops, and fold it just a little bit away. Now we take the nose band. Looks like something the cat might have dragged in. Never fear. Take the nose band, the two pieces at the back, and the two loops. And give it all a snug. You'll have a look in here and you want to check that it's all even and that everything appears to be coming out. It's a nice, feed or not, is a nice shape and a nice pattern and it should look like that as you are bringing it all together. Holding on to the knot, snugging the nose band together, both parts together. Holding on to the knot, snugging the two parts coming out the back. Holding on to the knot, snugging two parts of the, of the loops and the other two parts of the knot. That is your basic feed or knot. We're gonna look at um, tightening it up Obviously the loops are too big, the nose band isn't big enough, we're going to have a look at that in the next video. Have a practice. Pull it apart, redo it. Pull it apart and redo it. I would say that it probably took me 20 or 30 goes of tying the feed or not before I could do it without following the instructions. So good luck with that. Let me know how you go.